Hello, I'm Phil with TheFightNerd.com. I'm interviewing Kendall Holt. And we'd like to know a few things about you, uh, Kendall. What have uh, brought you as in boxing? How do you feel about uh, the way your career has been going? Um, things have been going, as of late, things have been going really well. Uh, I'm back in the top, top of the division, and I feel comfortable with this position. All right. Um, a lot of your fans want to know, where do you see yourself in the next couple of years in terms of your career? My next couple of years, uh, as a world champion, uh, definitely I've been a world class fighter for the better part of 10 years and um, I'm learning a lot more, I'm a lot more mature, understand the game a lot more and I just look forward to uh, all the great challenges that's out there. Excellent. Now, Kendall, what do you think about your chances against a fighter like Amir Khan or Manny Pacquiao? My, fighter, uh, my chances against Amir Khan are great. Um, because he's aggressive. His last fight against Zab Judah was aggressive, and uh, I do really well with aggressive fighters. Same thing with Manny Pacquiao. They bring the best out of me. When they come attack me, they bring the best out of me. So uh, if you want the best Kendall Holt, put somebody in here that's gonna make me fight. They're gonna make me fight, I'm gonna fight. Excellent. Now as a Golden Gloves fighter, you've been undergoing drug testing, you've been pretty, you've been uh, always proven to be a clean fighter. What do you think about Pac-Man not wanting to undergo Olympic level testing against someone like uh, Mayweather? I think uh, that he should do it. Um, I don't know why he doesn't. I'm not gonna say that he's hot or something, but we all take tests. And if you want that fight, like he said, he want that fight, then why why not take a test? Shane Mosley did it. A lot of other fighters have done it too. Why not? It's what the sport wants. What the sport fans want is what the sports need. Give us the test. Take the test. Excellent. What do you think about when you're a clean fighter? You've never you never broken any rules. You're not known to be a, a dirty fighter. What do you think about uh, when they had fighters? Like um, Margarito was found to have loaded gloves. I think I think people like that should be should be banned from the sport. Um, you know, you're not only you're trying to win, but at the same time you're jeopardizing a person's health, their life, their family and kids, their life. So um, I think it just it just goes way beyond trying to win. And I think people like that should be banned. Now I know they get banned within the United States, but some of them like Margarito for right afterwards not too long in Mexico should it be like some kind of like nation uh, worldwide ban I think throughout the world a fighter who does that jeopardizes another fighter's life should be banned from the sport period now in terms of your many boxers have also utilized other services of media like they appeared in commercials what do you see yourself in terms of uh, non-boxing but your fame coming from box like TV commercials do you see anything oh, coming well, up? you know I have a, I have a great smile so I mean, you know, I, lo I love entertainment, I love acting, I'm a Gemini, so uh, I, you know, I'm pretty much, you know, taking on a lot of different personalities at different times, so, uh, you know, even after boxing or while boxing it continues, um, you know, I've been in a couple movies, I've been on Long Order before, I've done a couple independent movies, so acting is something that comes natural to me, I took drama in high school, and uh, if the opportunity presents itself, I love to continue it. Excellent. Now, do you have a website or anything else? Not yet, I'm working on it though. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. It's a Still with the fightner.com with uh, Kendall Holt. Thank you very much.